Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read. Oops, to see where your energy is, please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Red hearts if you made it through, purple hearts if it resonates, green hearts if you work it on it, yellow hearts if you rock with me, got my six, me to have my back because I have yours. We're going to pull from um, a couple of decks. These are Maruk X3 decks. This is Cancer Baby Tarot's Oracle deck, and I don't know the name, and I keep saying I'm going to write it down. Um, this is the hidden, uh, the Heart's Hidden Secrets and the Ask Yourself deck. This is maybe somebody in separation or somebody that has taken a break. Either way it goes. Um, this is, I'm going to pull this energy to see what comes out in regards to what's on your mind. Then we're going to pull from the breakup Oracle deck. So you in separation with your person. Why is my, hold on. Oh, that's why my, um, camera is moving because I have my microphone right here and they're like right side by side with each other and it's causing it to move every time. There we go. I think I just fixed it. Maybe I didn't. But anyway, yeah, we're going to see where you are. And then the breakup oracle deck and the love situation. This is the twin flame. Um, what is this? The twin flame karmic partner or soulmate type energy that comes out. And then we always got to know what's hidden in the heart. Cards that come out is ascension, affirm. Yeah, so you have done things and your, af your affirmation. You have been practicing affirmations and also learning how to release. And this is the spiritual journey that you or your person has gone through. Take where it resonates, leave where it doesn't. I don't like that. Oh, I know why. My cord to my earpiece is uh, moving. So let me move it out of my way every time. Yeah, this has to do with family. So you're spending a lot more time with family and um, family means a lot to you. But for some reason, you had to go through and have some type of spiritual growth or a higher understanding when it comes to you dealing with this person, place, thing or situation. And it had to do a lot about family and what you haven't received. Yeah. Meddling, bad advice. This person, yeah, looks, um, it kind of came out sideways. So their looks mean everything to you, to them. They might be attractive, look good, but the way that they have gotten advice from people they think that this is the end all be all when it comes to relationships or situationships. And yeah, they slept on you. Um, that's how I feel. They slept on you. You know what I mean? Like sleep is here. Pay attention. Your dreams uh, different. It says uh, pillow slash mattress, clean space. All of this has to do with you changing your environment and not worried about what somebody else is doing, being unsure about, you know, you know that looks aren't everything. And you know that this person, the people that have meddled in this situation, they think they play a huge part in why they feel this way. And so again, take what resonates. Family means everything to you and maybe to them. So the meddler has to do with their family and you want a family with this person or a family dynamic. So you had to release this person in order and, you know, have some type of, um, start some type of spiritual journey or um, uh, understanding of why this person is the way, but you lost a lot of sleep dealing with this person and because they slept on you and they thought that you weren't the end all be all, which you really are. This is the breakup Oracle deck. I'll see what energy comes out when it comes to, uh, being in separation with your person, you know, do me a favor, like share, subscribe, hit the bell notification, practice forgiveness. Yeah. That's what you had to do. You had to learn how to ascend from the situation and practice forgiveness. Yeah. And now they're having epiphanies that, yeah, from their friends, the people who they thought, uh, the, the real friends, the people who realize that looks aren't everything, who they thought, uh, you know, would support them. You know, it says, I've been seeking friends advice about our relationship. So they've been asking around, but the epiphany is, oh, let me tell Oh, wait. Okay. So this is the bottom of the deck. So this card, yeah. Yeah, they're realizing that all this look stuff and everything is not what you wanted. It's not for you. And so the meddlers are giving bad advice. But this friend, whoever it is, the epiphany is, they're like, you tripping. Life ain't about looks and trying to impress everyone. You realize, you said, they said this person, the information that you're getting or how you feel about this person you need to apologize to them because these people aren't for you. You slept on the wrong person, if that makes sense. I don't know. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But again, um, 
yeah, you they want an apology. They want to apologize to you. You have to learn how to forgive. Hopefully that's the journey that you've been on. I'm pulling from the love situation deck to see what comes out. Yeah, I just believe that when it comes to this person, they slept on you and you were just trying to do everything in your power not to release them. And then you had no other choice. Look at all the cards. Oh, it's some cards that fell in my lap too. So hold on. Let me see. Bottom of the deck. Love loves growth. Love that grows with time needs time for growth unexpected lessons in love that is what you taught them so the addictions them worried about certain situations children could be involved in the the fights uh that were happening you were all unsure about hold on one second let me pick these cards up oh i almost, <laughs> almost choked myself remember i moved my cord but you were worried about you know not trying to fight with this person they could have been about the 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 support they were getting in the meddler because they had kids with the person or um, they were, somebody was using the kids as a palm upon the addiction comes with bad habits. Again, bad behavior, bad habits, you know, people at bad advice, see wrong direction, steering you in the wrong direction, bad advice, giving advice uh, for what's best for them, interfering, nosy and two faced. This could be somebody that, you know, th that they had a kid with or, that you have a kid with and you just were tired of the fights no matter if the children were involved they had too many bad habits that you had to deal with and you were just like epiphany boom gotta go and you realized that this wasn't for you and uh now they're seeking advice from their friends it took you a minute to get through this and now they're asking for friend support in order to look at that yeah not be the runner or chaser anymore so this is in the reverse yeah they're not running from you anymore but you cleaned up all of the stuff, making healthy decisions, cutting out the negativity, cleaning up life. You cleaned up all the healthy stuff, and now they want to come back. So all of the attentions, all of the affirmations, all of the releasing the negative energies and wanting more of a family life, a work-life balance, you know, uh, when it comes to family and uh, you making yourself a priority because this person was sleeping on you, right? They slept on you, right? And you had to try to figure out if this was a twin flame energy, but love grew in the process of that. So this was a lesson that you taught this person by your silence. No man is your enemy. No man is your friend. Every man is your teacher. This person taught you a lesson, but you taught them a lesson too. And now they want to apologize and you have to figure out if you're ready to forgive them or not. And so if that if resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, it just doesn't. But again, thank you for all your support, all of your patience with me and everything that I have going on. Soulmate comes out bottom of the deck friendship yeah so at some point it says this romantic union will be grounded in friendship a very playful connection meant to teach you and to have a more carefree attitude so now your expectations of this person has been pulled back you could have a new friend or a family dynamic a, a new excuse me my ear is that's crazy um no i've been having issues with my ears i cannot hear for like a week my ears were plugged and I just didn't know what was going on. So I went to the doctor and they gave me, um, yeah, Mucinex, but it's, it's working slowly, but surely, but now my ears itch anyway. So in the process of this, this is what you wanted. If you didn't want to be anything, if you couldn't be anything else, you wanted to be friends. You wanted to have everything, the Bonnie and Clyde effect. You knew this was your soulmate, but at some point there was a mirroring situation. It says your twin flame is reflecting back the truth. This can cause a feeling of vulnerability, which can trigger one or both twins to run from the relationship until they learn the lesson. And so no more running is where they are. You, you know, they ran from this. You didn't run. Now you, you weren't running. Now you're like, eh, I'm going this way and they are wanting to come this way. So they're running towards you. Soulmate, this soulmate connection will help both you both grow and learn together, though they could be a perfect life partner. They don't have to be. So again, maybe this, you're better off as friends, you know, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, but you guys learned each other or learned from each other. No man is your enemy. No man is your friend. Every man is your teacher. You learn from this person and whether the, they also learned the toxicity that they were around and what family is, you taught them how to love and how to be understanding and patient with this person. And so now you want to be friends. If anything, you know, you're not ready to, join that relationship type things with this person 
You know, you love the carefree energy that you guys share, but can you do it? Um, and or you could just be like, no, I'm OK. I'm friends with other people. I'm not willing to have something serious. You know, I'm glad that you learned your lesson. But yeah, healing. Yep. Healing, releasing, purifying and cleansing uh, influences. Yeah. See, the third party attachment screwed them up. And that's the people that were meddling in your business. And now they're, you know, you you taught them how to heal. You've healed. You had to figure out your way and your family wasn't being toxic. So now the friendship, the people that were giving them good advice now that you walked away. Um, where is that? The people that gave them good advice now that you walked away are the people that they're ready to listen to. But they said that, you know what, if uh, cancer is ready to listen, then she they will. But right now, you know, you're at the point to where you're like you released it because it wasn't for you. I can't find the card, but it's somewhere right here. It's friend support. So it's it's here. So again, this this is what you were getting. Now you could have been getting this answer not for you, right? You could have been getting that answer and they could have been getting bad advice saying, you know, you know, you don't need to settle down. Look at you. Look how good you look. <clears throat> you can have anybody that you want and you choosing cancer. So you're like, OK. And they're why. Meanwhile, your friends are like, this person is not for you. You know, this is not going to be a person that you can build a family with. You saw the difference or the benefits in this person. And you were like, I'm not going to listen to anybody. I'm just going to remove my energy from this situation. And now here it is. It's like you guys both are getting the conflicted energies. This person is getting energy more so of you're everything. You don't need anybody. They don't think that they wanted you. And, to, and then your family and friends are just like, you deserve better, you know, whatever. And you're like, I still forgive this person. I love them. And they're ready to apologize. But this is what the growth is. And that's why it says the twin flame and soulmate energy right it says mirroring a mirroring mirroring energy is a twin flame type energy and so this is why they're not willing to um um run anymore because again the energy of sorry the energy of um people meddling in this situation is toxic and so that's where the addiction comes in oh you don't need anybody your god's gift to green earth you know um you know, you need somebody that's going to fight for you. You know, they're creating more drama than anything and keep intention in this person's. And then when you decide to clean your life up and they turn around and see something and then they clean their life up. Now they are not willing to run anymore. Does that make sense? And so that's kind of how I see that. I'm going to pull from the Ask Yourself deck uh, because, again, this person slept on you. They slept on you. They cared about the third party attachments and their peers, and they didn't realize that they were addicted to the negativity and people meddling and thinking and letting them think that they can have more until you cleaned it up. And this could be because they had kids by this person. They didn't really want to give their attention, you know, that that part to um, you. You know what I mean? They didn't want them. To, they didn't want to lose them from they didn't want to lose this this energy of them listening and saying, Oh, you deserve better than that. I know we just have kids, but in, you know, just thinking that they can have anything until they actually really saw. So again, let's see from the ask yourself deck, where are you at in this process? High priestess energy and seven of pentacles. Yeah. You planted the seed for yourself. High priestess energy is like, trust yourself. But the page of cups energy, it says what, what situation in your life is bringing about some type of opportunity you moving forward, you healing from the situation, you realize the difference between being a soulmate, a twin flame and having a friendship and either growing in love or friendship or ha accepting an apology by um, practicing forgiveness and realizing some things just aren't for you. This person didn't see the seeds that you were planting moving forward, which was you having a family and you being able to do things as a cohesive unit uh, and so now you're like, what situation in your life are you ready to invest your time, energy and money into? And so you have to ask yourself, is this a situation you're willing to go back into or are you better off with being friends? Did this person learn a le lesson or are you willing to uh, forgive this person um, or accept their apology? High priestess energy is what is your intuition trying to tell you? I mean, you healed, you healed, you understand this. So now you have to ask yourself. Let's pull from the Law of Attraction deck to see <clears throat> what comes out. And then I'm going to pull from the Spiritual AF deck uh, and then the normal uh, four agreements and 
um the crystal deck yeah follow your bliss whatever makes you happy and surprise of course somebody is going to come back to you uh the person who who uh slept on you um it says in a way that you wouldn't expect a gift from the universe intense twist of fate and eclipse news so again this person wants to apologize it says i'm sorry for disappointing you will you accept my apology you know that's not how it's going to come in a perfect world that is how it works but this is not a perfect world right so you have to ask yourself what situation in your life is bringing about some type of opportunity this could be a love opportunity you have a decision to make to a cup's energy this can be a love opportunity this could just be an opportunity of understanding that love grows here and it's okay for a friendship a friendship brings separation or, well it calls separation first withdraw disconnect test of love and a relationship breakdown so you were able to see what it was so are you going to forgive this person that's basically what it is and then it says follow your bliss so whatever you decide to do Whatever you decide to do, you have to follow your bliss. And that's what your intuition is telling you. You cannot listen to anyone. They can't listen to friends, people that's holding them back. You can't listen to family. You have to do what's best for you. So is this a good friendship for you? You have to ask yourself, are you tired of going back and forth? Um, but it says, what do what you what inspires you? Cre your create do what inspires you. It says creativity, new direction, heart meets mind, no fear based decisions. So whatever decision you decide to make, it cannot be fear-based. You have to make the decision, sit with it, and understand that either you learned a lesson or you did not. And so that is just kind of how I see that energy. What decision, it says, what decision in your life are you ready to make? Um, no fear-based decisions. Go forward and make sure that whatever you do, you keep everybody out of your business and you move forward. This is you painting a canvas. This is, uh, um, what is it called? Paint and a paintbrush you all have the ability to create the canvas that you want but you have to trust in your intuition and also the seeds that you planted and what you invested into if that makes sense so go from there it's totally up to you the ball is in your court you have to be the one to make the decision nobody else can make it for you so um let's go ahead and pull from the crystal deck and oh i said the spiritual af deck let's pull from here to see okay here goes the card that comes out it is Feel your fucking feelings. I mean, it says, do what inspires you, no one else. Set a timer for 30 minutes and give yourself full permission to feel whatever it is you've been avoiding. Okay, let's just talk about a timer. I just set a timer because I was watching, and I like her. You guys should, should check her out. She changed her channel to Joya Knows. Um, she said 6.26 p.m., restoration you guys go look at her channel she said to set two timers she said to set an alarm clock and then to set a timer so i set a timer for four minutes four hours i think and then i set um an alarm for six six twenty six p.m just shows you i support my local um my my not local my youtubers uh and tarot readers so um it says set a timer for 30 minutes and give yourself full permission to feel whatever it is you've been avoiding Organize your sock drawer while you cry or see or get jiggy with some hardcore self-pity. Then when the time is up, get off your ass and do something constructive. Uh, your big little sweetheart of a heart will thank you later. So there you have it. That is what it says. Um, feel your fucking feelings. So maybe you should ask yourself these questions. What situation in your life are you ready to invest your time, energy, and money into? Is it following your bliss or is it a friendship or is it, you know, understanding that you're going to accept somebody's apology or learn to forgive, right? Or what is your intuition trying to tell you? So you have to ask yourself those questions. Let me go ahead and pull from the crystal deck and then we're going to go ahead and let this energy go. Uh, the Dalmatian Jasper comes out. If you guys want to know about the uh, four agreements, I'll put the links up here, the crystal deck or the chakras, I mean. Um, I'll put the links up above. The Dalmatian Jasper comes out. It's the root chakra, sacral chakra, and solar plex chakra. It's for protection, reflection, and service. This is what you're reflecting, and you're protecting your energy, and you always give service no matter where you are because that's just who you are. But you have to understand why you feel the way you feel, and that's just that. I go with the flow of the universe knowing that I'm protected. So follow your bliss. Do whatever inspires you. No fear-based decisions because you go with the flow. 
of the universe knowing that I am protected. I go with the flow of the universe knowing that I am protected. And that is where you are. Let's release the old energy and let's move forward. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or situation, or the person who slept on you. And addictions comes out here and also the surprise, the apology, look, differences, and if you're going to forgive this person. All right, you guys, I love you. Bye-bye. I also want to say forgiveness does not mean that you have to go back. It just means that you accept their apology. I love you guys.